Thank you for this morning for the funeral service of our beloved Marianne Spagliotis. Before we begin the service, uh, we'll actually start with a few words from her brother, George. George, please come forward. Seeing the picture of my sister and my father. Marion was the apple of my father's eye. He really was very proud of her. Extremely proud. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. My sister had many accomplishments, which were highlighted in her obituary. Among them was the Con Edison Scholar Athlete of the Week Award for Westchester County, presented to her in her junior year in Roosevelt High School, a prestigious award which normally was presented to a football or basketball player. She received this award as a member of the rifle team for outstanding marksmanship. She never dropped a point in competition. She scored 100 each time. She was the captain of the rifle team and the first woman to ever be on the team. Underneath her graduation picture was her name and in caption, Annie Oakley. My father kept her targets in the attic of our house on 20 Leonard Place. And I used to sneak up there to look at them. I used to keep shuffling them through them and see the holes in the middle of the target. You know? uh, and again, my father was extremely proud of her. Not too. But... Her most significant one was her devotion to her children, Betty Ann and Charles. She supported and encouraged their education, their sports activities, from swimming to tennis. Her daughter, Betty Ann, is the coach of the women's tennis at Fordham University. She was instrumental in her success throughout her outstanding tennis career. She continued her support and dedication to her granddaughter, Dominique's tennis accomplishments and career. Betty Ann was awarded the Athlete of the Year from Fordham University, and her daughter Dominique followed in her footsteps and was also awarded the same honor. This is the only parent and child to accomplish this. They are both in the Hall of Fame. Dominic and her husband Vlad are tennis professionals. In addition to that, my sister, I remember, had a typing skill. She was amazing. She could type amazingly. And she typed all Benny Ann's papers throughout college. And Dominique's too. And I remember Marion said, and I have to go to the library and get the books too. So I think, I think Marion got an education between Dominique and Betty Ann. I didn't also mention, we didn't mention the, another thing was Pasticio. She, she was, you know, she was known for her pasticia, her spanitopita, and uh, baklava. And, and on holidays, we used to have it. She used to make it when Chuck came back from, from Norway to visit. Special. Her son, Chucky, Charles, he lived in Norway. He's, he's fluent in Norwegian and attended and graduated college. He had to pass a language test to be accepted since the classes were all in Norwegian, which is very hard. He is now, he's a master high-end high, high -end cycle mechanic in, in, in Norway. My sister also had to deal with the loss of her husband, Steve, in a tragic car accident when he was 37 years old. Steve was the love of her life. And he was, he was really the center of our family also. Mary Marianne and our entire family never really recovered from the loss of Steve. It's with us every day. I want to thank Julio Diaz, a friend of, and co-worker of, of my, my niece Betty Ann from Fordham University, for helping Betty Ann to care for Marianne through her long illness. Betty Ann gave her mother 24-7 hour care, day and night, back and forth to the hospital, dealing with COVID-19 restrictions, which were ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Waiting online to get into the emer into the emergency room to see her for a short period of time because of the restrictions. She had to deal with hospital staff, doctors, nurses, caseworkers. And knowing my niece, if you do, she wouldn't let them get away with anything. Bless her. She converted the house to a home care facility with all kinds of special equipment. I also have to thank Peter, Mimi's son-in-law, for always being there and helping her. She loved you very much, Peter. Her suffering is over. May she rest in peace. I have a letter from her son, Chucky, in Norway, which she asked me to read. This is a letter from Mimi's son, Chuck. I've asked my Uncle George, my godfather, to say some words on behalf of my sons, Sander and Christian, my family, and myself here in Norway. My mother had visited us twice in Norway and has made a lasting impression on my friends. I won't task my uncle with pronouncing their names, but they always asked for her these years and have sent flowers to my house from Mimi when they heard. That's the person she was, beautiful to look at and so genuine, kind and giving. She was always charming and was so easy to get to know and loved to make new friends. I've been living an ocean's distance from my mother and family for almost 30 years now. Yet my mother and sister made sure that they saw us every year during summer and sometimes Christmas too. She made sure we spent time and created strong bonds with her grandsons who were daughter. Just to give an idea of how much, Mimi gave them one of her hairbrushes to take home a few years back, and the boys took turns smelling it, saying how it smelled like Mimi and her perfume. No one uses it now, but they still smell it from time to time, and it still smells like her, I checked today. These are two boys, by the way, that won't touch anything that I use. We have such a wonderful memories of us all together, doing things together as a family. Crazy, but a lot of love. That is my mother's legacy. Family meant everything to her, and it spread to her children, grandchildren, and great children. In closing, I just say that I've had to miss my mother for a long time now. I learned to live with it, and I always look forward to the next time we come in, but it was a constant ache. But now she is here with us always, together with her husband, my father, Steve. In her hearts and thoughts, she will live on. I love you, Mom. We all do. Thank you so much. I just want to mention one thing, that this church, you know, to my sister, too. She sang in the choir here. Dominique, Betty Ann got married in here. I got married in this church. The christenings of my son, uh, Marion was godmother to my son, and Steve was godfather, got christened here. My wife got christened here. Peter got christened here. The grandchildren got christened here. Okay, I, I just want to say thank everybody for coming.
in uh, just a few moments, we'll begin the uh, Orthodox Christian funeral service for Marianne, the departed sister in Christ. Uh, and what I would ask, especially for those who are maybe not as familiar with this service, is uh, that we pay attention to the words which are sung, the words which are uh, coming really directly to us as those who are surviving. Of course, these are words for Marianne, for her departure, for her salvation, for her soul. But also, these are for us as well. We die perhaps the way in which we live our lives today. Please stand. Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αι και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Blessed is our Lord, our God, always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Αμμομή εν οδό, αλληλούια. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου. Αλληλούια. My soul is one with endless longing for your judgments at all times. Alleluia. My soul has slumbered from sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Alleluia. Incline my heart unto your testimonies and not unto covetousness. Alleluia. Despair took a hold of me because of sinners that forsake your law. Alleluia. I am a partaker with all those that fear you and with them that keep your commandments. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Mariana, departed from this life, for the forgiveness of her every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the Lord establish her soul where the just repose, the mercies of God, the kingdom of the heavens, and the remission of her sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant, Mariana, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory with your eternal Father and your all-holy good and life-creating spirit both now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Echides hu epison me ke an me sinetison me ke mamedas en dolasu elahi me kiria for I am become as a wineskin in the frost Yet your statutes have I not forgotten. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I am yours, O save me. For after your statutes have I sought. Have mercy on me, O Lord. From your judgments have I not declined. For you have set the law before me. Have mercy on me, O Lord. I have in my heart to perform your statutes forever in return for your mercies. 
Have mercy on me, O Lord. It is time to serve the Lord, but they have violated your law. Have mercy on me, O Lord. Look, San Patrick, yeah, I used to say, on us, on 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 Look upon me and have mercy on me according to the truth of them that love your name. I young and accounted as nothing. Your statutes have I not forgotten. Alleluia. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your mercy, according to your judgments, quicken me. Alleluia. Princes have persecuted me without cause. And because of your words, my heart has been afraid. Alleluia. My soul shall live and shall praise you, and your judgments will help me. Alleluia. I have gone astray like a sheep that is lost. See your or sir. Reduction metadike o matasu, donai o no poros avra pigiti so is kathiran paradisu. Evro kavot in nodon diatis metanias to apolos provaton evi anakalese mesotipisosan. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me commandments. You who of all day fashioned me out of nothingness, and with your image divine did honor me. But because of transgression of your commandments, did return me back again to the earth where I was taken. Lead me back to be refashioned in that ancient beauty of your likeness. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. I am a gem, I of your unutterable glory, though I bear the stars of my many stumblings. Have compassion on me, the work of your hands, O Sovereign Lord, and cleanse me through your loving kindness. And the homeland of my heart's desire, bestow on me by making me again a citizen of paradise. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Give rest, O God, unto your servant, and appoint for her a place in paradise, where the choirs of the saints, O Lord, and the just will shine forth like stars. To your servant that is sleeping now, do you give rest, overlooking all her offenses. Look, San Patrick, I hope not to be the three lambs to me as they want it to be the same as 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 Και του αιωνίου πήρω σε ξαρπάσον. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Hail, O gracious lady, that in the flesh bears God for salvation of all, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you may we find paradise. Theotokos, our lady, pure and blessed. Sastenestera, Panda Oniro, Padilera, Mia Ropi, get up the Panda Tana Tostia, the Chete, Alento Hoti, Christa to Prosoposu, get on the Cassis or a Hotitos, on Excellenson, a Pamson, a Spiantro. Like a blossom that wastes away, and like a dream that passes and is gone, so is every mortal and to dust dissolve. But again, when the trumpet sounds its call, as though at the quaking of the earth, all the dead shall arise and go forth to meet you, O Christ, our God, on that day, O Lord, for her whom you have withdrawn from among us, appoint a place in the temptings of your saints. Day for the spirit of your servant of Christ. Vanity are all the works and quests of man, and they have no being after death has come. Our wealth is with us no longer. How can our glory Glory with us, for when death has come, all these things are vanished clean away. Wherefore, to Christ the immortal King, let us cry, to her that has departed, grant repose, where a home is prepared for all those whose hearts you have filled with gladness. There were truly past compares by the mystery of death inspired. Now the soul and the body part is joined by resistless might, and their concord is broken, and the bond of nature which made them live as one, now by the edict of God is rest in twain. 
Wherefore now we implore your aid, grant that your servant now gone to rest, where the just and are yours abide, life restore and friend of mankind. I called to mind the prophet who shouted, I am buttered than ash. And once again I looked with attention on the tombs, and I saw the bones therein, of which flesh were naked. And I said, which indeed is he that is king, or which a soldier, which is the wealthy, which the needy, which the righteous, or which the sinner, but to your servant, O oh Lord, grant that with the righteous she may repose. My beginning and foundation was the form bestowing word of your commandment. For it leads you to me by compounding visible and invisible nature into a living thing. Out of earth was my body formed and made. But the thing, a soul you gave me by the divine and life creating in breathing. Wherefore, O Christ, to your servant in the land of the living, in the courts of the righteous, do you grant me I weep and with tears lament when I think with understanding on death and see how in the grace there sleeps the beauty which once for us was fashioned in the end of, but now is shapeless, ignoble, bare of all the graces. Oh, how strange a thing! What is this mystery which concerns us humans? Why were we given up to decay? And why do that is written these things come to pass by ordinance of God? Who to her now gone gives rest? Lux a patrike io che agi of nevati. O san kirie athanasia sia gone proxenos. Imiren nimaticatis. Ucan o paradisos igene otto. The Odon Metastandan Apasonos Philanthropos. Both now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Virgin, chaste and holy, gateway of the word. Mother of our God, make supplication that her soul find mercy. Makari ayi odos i pore visi meron o ti ti mas disi o posana pamseos blessed. Unto you, O Lord, will I cry. We 
wisdom. A reading is from the first epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Brethren, we would not have you ignorant concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring him to those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself descends from heaven with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom arise. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Sophia Orthi, Akus Mendua Yu Evangelio, Irini Pasi, peace be with you all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who came to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Truly, truly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself and to give him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this. For the hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear the voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own authority, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I see not my own will. The will of the Father who sent me. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the servant of God, Mary Ann, departed from this life, for the forgiveness of her every transgression, voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let the Lord God establish his, her soul where the just repose. Grant her the mercies of God, the kingdom of heavens, and the remission of her sins. Let us ask of Christ our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. O God of all spirits and every flesh, who has trodden down death, destroying the power of the devil, bestowing life on your world, to the soul of your servant, Mariana, departed from this life. Do you yourself, O oh Lord, give rest in a place of right, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment, from where pain, sorrow, and suffering have fled away. Every sin by her committed in thought, word, or deed, do you as our good and loving God forgive 
seeing that there is no man who shall live and sin not, for you alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servant Mary and O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory to your, as to your eternal Father and your all holy good and life creating spirit. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead have mercy on us. He who has immortal king and has authority over both the living and the dead through the intercessions of his apostle and holy mother of the holy just from Lazarus who lay in the grave four days of the glorious forefathers Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. May he give rest to our sister who has departed from us and number her among the just and holy through his goodness and compassion as our merciful God. May your memory be everlasting, our sister who are worthy of blessedness and everlasting memory. Without saying, I think that I did not have the pleasure to know Marianne as you all had the pleasure of knowing her. I did not have her as, as a friend, as family, even as a brief association. I had met Marianne really only a couple days before she left us. And what I can say about that experience is that the love penetrated the room. Really and truly, I've been in these situations times. And when you walk into that room, whether the person who you're going to see is really responsive or not, there is certainly an air about them. And what had been communicated to me through that existence, as really it was just Betty Ann and I who were there, was that this was a person who made sure there was peaceful and loving existence wherever she was. Even in that moment of being able to administer what was her last and final sacrament, which was not the sacrament, but rather the sacrament of unction, one of anointing, which perhaps is significant, but ever more so significant being that this was her sacrament received by her church. It was a sacrament received 
by the Holy Spirit. It was a sacrament which seemed to be one that she had been waiting for. Because it was only a few days later that I heard of her passing. And so that connect has been spoken about of Mariana and Marianne beaming to her church. This is when she's penetrated by her love. And I think they work hand in hand with one another. As I hear about this woman, and how incredibly self sacrificial denying of her own needs, so that way she could serve whatever the needs were of those around her. I hear about this. This is a trait of sanctity. This is a trait of holiness. This, if we have to define one single trait of the, the love of our God, is exactly that. And so there's nothing that I can say. I don't think there's really anything that anyone can say about Marianne and about the life that she lived could be more impactful than the love that she gave while she was with us. And it is for this reason that we have this beautiful saying of the Orthodox Church, may her memory be eternal. What is necessary for us to recognize about this word is when we think on memory, I think in the English lexicon, it really just to the mind, our thought. But the Greek word, which comes from the root word anamnesis, this is more of a commemoration. And it's a commemoration which is spiritual and not nearly as much caught up in our physical memories, but rather it's in the memories of our heart. These memories of the heart we have come to understand as seeds of life which someone else has planted within us. And it seems to me that Marianne was incredibly giving in the sowing of those seeds of life and that she has in fact planted those seeds within each and every one of us who are gathered here whether physically or virtually. And so it is these seeds which we are called to commemorate. It's these seeds which we are called to grow, to tend to, as they are what Marianne has left us. She has left us a legacy. It is our job, as those who remain grow and to live within that legacy, whether it is her love for her church, or her undenying self-sacrifice for others, however it is that we choose to remember Mariana, Mimi, may it be one which we commit to now until we meet our own natural bless you all and keep you safe. It is at this time which I will ask that the uh, pallbearers come forward to turn the casket so that way you all may come and uh, say your final peace, final kiss, if you will, to our beloved Maria, after which uh, we will make our exit from the sanctuary and um, head over to the final physical resting place of Marianne's body here on earth. I'll be with you again in Grand Chief Strength. I'll be with you again in Grand Chief Strength. I'll be with you
Tonight, I'm going to be 